Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how I lost over 100 pounds and have kept it off for about three years now. Whoop, whoop. I do have lots of videos on my channel talking about how I lost weight. I literally share my journey. I share my tips, everything. And I know I've made this video before, but I have got this question asked so much recently. A lot of people with the new year coming up, or the new year is now the new year, it's not even coming up, it's here. With the new year here, everyone is looking to lose weight, get healthy, and I've just had a lot more new people asking me how I've lost weight by seeing my transformation and stuff. So I thought, let's just make an, a new video and just talk about how I lost weight and get answer some of those questions that I get asked a lot, like about how I lost weight and stuff. So I'll share like how I lost weight, what I've done, like what I ate, what I exercise I did, literally everything of you guys, how I've maintained that, all the sharing, all of that good stuff. So if that is something that you're interested in, uh, make sure that you obviously watch the video, make sure you like, if you enjoy this video, you find it helpful. I really, really appreciate it, it helps the video out a lot. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and click that bell button and join the family here on YouTube. We are almost at 100K guys, almost at 100K, that is crazy, that is mind blowing, all right, it's mind blowing. Almost at that silver play button guys, give me the silver play button. I'm actually so excited for that, that, that'd be emotional times. But yeah, join the family here on YouTube, Click subscribe and the bell button so that you get a notification when I upload. I upload loads of videos to do with health, fitness, weight loss, my weight loss tips, what I eat in a day videos, my workouts, all of that fun stuff. And leave a comment down below with the arm emoji and show me that you're ready to get the gains, to lose weight, gain muscle, whatever your goals are, you're going to smash it. So just leave an arm emoji. And yeah, let's just get on and I'll tell you how I lost weight. So anyway, in January 2020, I weighed 269 pounds. This is like right in the beginning of January, but by the end of December, I weighed 269 pounds. I had got to a point where I was morbidly obese. I'm five foot seven for anyone wondering, get asked that a lot, five foot seven. So that made me morbidly obese. And I was suffering with loads of health complications. Pretty sure I had high blood pressure. I had symptoms of high blood pressure. I had high blood pressure during my pregnancy and preeclampsia and stuff. So I definitely think I had high blood pressure. I was seeing stars, like getting dizzy. Uh, I was out of breath a lot. I would get swollen ankles just from like walking and stuff like that. Like I was getting heart palpitations, chest pain. I was very, very physically unhealthy. And mentally I was very low. I had really low confidence. I had low self-esteem. I felt rubbish about myself. I would never look at my body like in a full length mirror it would always be like up 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 here mirrors this kind of mirror where I could just see my face I just was really unhappy in myself basically so just long story short I was very very unhappy with myself and I was suffering with depression and anxiety mental health was bad and I just reached a point where I was like do you know what I need to lose weight like I can't do this anymore I it's either I carry on like this and I won't be happy and I'll carry on gaining weight because it's continuously gaining weight every every year. So I was just got to a point, I went out for a night out for my best friend's birthday and I bought this top and stuff and I just felt rubbish on the night out. I was just like, do you know what, I'm done. Like I need to actually lose weight. I need to start loving myself. And I started by loving myself from day one. I was like, I know I'm not happy in my body, but my body has done so much for me. It's carried two beautiful children. And it's got me to this point, it's, it's keeping me alive, right? It's doing its best and I need to treat my body how it deserves to be treated. I need to start loving myself and caring for myself and that means losing weight to be healthy, not only for myself, but for my kids as well. So what I did, how I lost the weight was I downloaded my fitness pal. It's a calorie tracking app. If you don't know how to use my fitness pal, don't worry guys, I've got you sorted. I've made a tutorial on my channel called my fitness pal tutorial and I'll show you exactly how to use my fitness pal and how to track your calories on there. So I downloaded my fitness pal. I I put all my information in there which gave me 1800 calories and I'm only saying this because this is what I did but I genuinely don't recommend to go off of the calories off my fitness pal obviously I know better now than what I did then so I would recommend to do like go on tdeecalculator.net which is a calorie tracking uh, calorie estimator app thing uh, and you put all your details in and it will give you an estimate of the amount of calories that you should have uh, and then obviously that's just an estimate and then you would have to like track your calories and see whether you lose weight if you lose weight and you're losing like one to two pounds a week then that's great then you stick on that or if you don't lose weight then you need to reduce some calories like try reducing it by 100 200 calories and keep doing that until you eventually lose one to two pounds a week or if you start gaining weight then that's way too much you know what I mean it's just an estimate it's just a good way to start out another better way of doing it is if you track what you're eating 
normally and try not to change anything for like a week and then you get an estimate of how much you're currently eating and then you'll just reduce that by like 200 calories 250 and then you'll lose weight do you know what i mean and like the smallest deficit is the best started by tracking my calories and i went to 1800 calories which was a massive deficit for me because obviously i was eating loads of food before so i did lose weight very very quickly on my first week i lost nine pounds and then it went down to four pounds and then i was losing like three pounds and then two pounds um over the course of the 14 months where I lost 120 pounds, it averaged out to about two and a half pounds a week I lost on average consistently. So that that's not bad, especially the bigger you are, the more weight you can lose. So that's how I started. I literally just started by tracking my calories, like literally put every everything I ate, I input into my fitness pal. And for breakfast, I was having oatmeal in the morning and adding fruits. And as I got into my weight loss journey and into tracking food and stuff, I started to make better choices because when I first started, like the first couple of days, I think I was trying to eat muesli or granola and like I was started to weigh it out and I see how much calories it was for like a smaller portion and then with oats, you can get a lot more. So I chose oats over that and I would add fruits to it as well because fruits are very low calorie and high volume. So you can get quite a lot for a small amount of calories. So I was adding fruits to my breakfast and stuff because that was allowing me to eat more volume of food and feel more full and satisfied. Because when you start tracking your calories and you see how much calories are in things and only a small amount of calories you get per portion size, especially when you don't understand portion sizes in the first place and you actually start weighing out the recommended portion sizes, they're so small. So I learned to fill out my meals with lots of fruits and lots of veggies. I did actually make a Instagram account for as like my own weight loss diary so I made my weight loss account put my pictures up on there as well and then I started actually posting my meals on there just to kind of it was just like a little diary it just kept me kind of motivated something to do while I was like losing weight and stuff so I will actually go quickly on and just have a look at the meals just because like this is something I get asked all the time is like yeah you show what you eat now but what did you eat while she was losing weight and it's pretty much the same but I just want to double check and go on my, my old Instagram and just have a look at the foods that I used to eat because just for this information. So yeah, when I did start showing my my food on, on Instagram, there was like my oats. It was, so it's one sachet of oats, so simple, 120 milliliters of almond milk, banana, sweetener, peanut butter, chia seeds, and in total calories, 306. So like they're, they're the ideas of like breakfast I would have. Here's like a bagel for lunch. And it had a bagel, slice, butter, turkey, bacon, mashers, eggs, sprayed and fry like coconut oil on a pear, which was 441. So that was like, I guess that was what, lunch, yeah. For dinner, so I'd have my chicken, rice, and peas. How many calories? And I put like my calories on there. So if you're not already, if you wanted to kind of see what I was eating when I was in my weight loss, like right in the beginning of my weight loss, I definitely recommend to go and have a look at my old Instagram. So that was Louise's Journey XO. Obviously, my Instagram now is Louise's Journey 2.0 XO. That was someone beeping outside because I had to, I, someone ended up hacking into my account and I lost, like, lost it basically. And then I had to make a new account and then I ended up, Instagram finally got back to me and gave me my account back. But then by that point, I was already like, carrying on with the 2.0 so I just kept my 2.0 so yeah but chicken rice veg I want to see if I had anything different so here's another dinner I dinner I would have it was the chicken sausages potatoes veg gravy and then I had some American mustard on there which was 501 calories peanut butter on toast I've got more oats so instead of just banana I had banana and raspberries on there with some chia seeds for my healthy fats on there and then like salmon salad, chicken rice veg. Dinner was uh, pasta bolognese, 481 calories. And see here, like I would have a bagel with my banana, peanut butter and banana with cinnamon on there. And then I would have yogurt and fruit on the side to kind of make it more volume to fill me up. So yeah, foods like that. And then like obviously I was still having like a chocolate cake here and there. So I was eating all foods in moderation. I weren't stopping myself from having any of that. I also had like Kinder Bueno, like I was just making sure that I was fitting it all within my calories, eating everything in moderation. And then I had like jacket potato with salad. I had four eggs. So this is like a scrambled egg kind of thing with eggs, pepper, spinach, and then a hot, pe hot pepper sauce. So these are the kind of foods anyway. If you wanted to go and see all of the food, because obviously I'm not gonna show you all here because we will just be here forever, just going through the food I ate. But they're kind of like the meals that I was eating right in the beginning-ish time of my journey. So that was kind of what I was eating. Obviously, if you wanna see what I eat now, you can have a look at my what I eat in a day videos. I post them quite a lot. But yeah, so they are kind of the foods I was eating, making sure that I was eating everything in moderation. When I did first start, 
to lose weight, I did cut out having chocolates and all of those kind of foods for like the first couple of weeks just to kind of get me into it. Like I didn't really want to eat that right in the beginning, but I knew that I was gonna eat it in moderation, but I just wanted to kind of get focused on what I was eating. After like a few weeks, I did start to incorporate chocolate and like other kind of foods like that in moderation. So like it wouldn't be every day even like once it would just be when I really really felt for it and I would just make sure that I was tracking it in with my calories and making sure that I was eating big meals throughout the day as well so I wasn't just like not eating to save calories for loads of chocolate I was making sure that I was eating my meals and if I had extra calories I would have a chocolate bar and fit it with my calories so that's kind of how I was doing it that way and as for like meal prep and stuff I never meal prepped my meals but I did have an idea of what I was going to eat the next day so I always like to think of like you plan, plan to fail if you fail to plan you plan to fail so that's how I approached my weight loss so with in regards to food as well so I made sure that the night before or the day before I kind of had an idea what I was going to eat for like at least the next day or the next couple of days so I wasn't like stuck like okay I have to eat this and I've prepped the meals and they're there and I have to eat it but I would go for a food shop it's like what I do now I go for a food shop and I have the foods in the house so I know kind of like what I'm gonna have so I knew I was gonna have oats in the morning I made sure that I had different kind of fruits in the house so that I could change up the fruits if I wanted to. I eventually started having like French toast and other breakfasts and stuff so I would be like oh I know I've got those in the house so if I woke up in the morning I'd be like okay do I want that or do I want that and I'll choose. Same with like lunch and stuff so I'd make sure I had like a few stuff in the house that I know and then I'll be like okay I feel like I'm gonna I want this tomorrow so I would have just have an idea so I've got the foods in the house already and I don't have to like try to go through the cupboards and think of what to make when I'm really hungry because then that's like you're more likely to just grab something quick and eat that and then end up overeating so I just made sure I had plans like that but I've never meal prepped apart from when I was doing my prep for my bikini competition when I did first start my journey as well what I did was I joined the gym and I would drop my kids off to school and then I would drive to the gym which is like literally down the road and what I started with was an incline walk on the treadmill I did 20 minutes I think it's like 20 20 or 30 minutes and I would incline it all the way to the top and I would walk as much as I could at a full incline until I would die like I'd be like <gasps> like couldn't do it anymore and then I would decline it just but I would carry on walking but I would decline it get, catch my breath rest like try to get back and then I would like incline it all the way to the top again and then walk for a few minutes and I just that's all I did I did that for the 20 minutes and as like much as I could until it was finished and then I went home that was my exercise it literally killed me off I was dead right that's how unfit I was I was just like ugh. the more I went and I was doing it the better my health and fitness was getting so I was able to walk on the incline for a little bit longer each time and then um and it was making me feel so good in myself like I literally felt so like obviously the first couple of times like my chest was hurting I was wheezing I was like had a headaches and everything like first couple of weeks of losing weight I was suffering with migraines and like headaches and all of this kind of stuff I think it was just my body like getting rid of everything I don't know right? I don't I don't know if there's a scientific explanation for like why I was like that but like I felt like I was coming down with like the flu almost first couple of weeks but obviously I pushed through that and then I just started feeling so good in myself and like I could walk on the incline eventually for 20 minutes straight like full incline straight <laughs> and then I eventually added in the elliptical which is a cross trainer that one you can like that and I did that and at first I did that I could only do it for like two minutes and then I eventually got to five minutes and I remember I was so happy when I reached 10 minutes and then I eventually did 20 minutes so I did 20 minutes incline walk and then 20 minutes on the elliptical eventually but it was just like progressive overload and this is after like over a few months of like in increasing my fitness basically and then lockdown happened because this is uh, 2020 and I obviously had to stop going to the gym. I tried doing like exercises in the park. Like, I remember I was like trying to do like walking lunges and like little jogging, little sprints. Like I was trying to make little circuits for myself to try and just get some kind of exercise in. And I was doing like some workouts on the app because Pure Gym have like their app and they have like home workouts. So I was doing, trying to get some home workouts in. This wasn't, I wasn't doing it a lot like or every day, but it was like every other day I was trying to get that in. And then I got a Fitbit and I started getting my steps in and just trying to increase my steps. Um, my first goal was 6,000 uh, steps a day because I was very inactive, even at that point. When I had the Fitbit on, I noticed I was only getting like three, four thousand steps a day. So then I increased it to six thousand, and then I eventually increased that to eight thousand, and then eventually increased that to ten thousand. And then now it's like I get roughly around like twelve to sixteen thousand steps a day. When lockdown lifted a little bit, and you could go and exercise in groups, I joined Pete's boot camp, and I was doing that like once a week, as well as like trying to get my steps in and stuff, and trying to get some home workouts in. I started working on my push ups. So I was doing like push up variations. So I started by doing my push ups on the sofa, 
and then eventually on the floor. If you want to see how to do a push-up, because I could never ever do a push-up before, I do have a video talking about going through the variations and how I eventually got to do push-ups, which is amazing, which was, was I was so proud of. And I actually need to start working on my push-ups again. I feel like I'm probably rubbish at push-ups now, because it's something that you just have to consistently do to keep... It's like a skill. I, I genuinely feel like it's a skill to do push-ups, but I need to work on my push-ups still. But maybe that could be one of my goals for 2023, to be fair, start doing my push-ups again. But I eventually was doing that like every day, trying to do push-ups. And then I started weightlifting. I started by weightlifting three times a week. I did full body. So I did a full body on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I hired Pete to do that for me. So he taught me the form. He took me into the weights room, showed me how to lift weights, basically, and created my workout program for me. And I did full body three times a week, all the way, how long did I do that for? Basically for the rest of the year. So I started that in July, I'm pretty sure July 2020, July or August time. And then I carried that on all the way till December or even January 2020 to 2021, that part. And then they did lockdown again and they closed the gyms. So then I was trying to work out from home. I got weights and stuff at home. So that's just basically what I was doing. Like just trying to, anytime like things like that got in the way, then I was just trying to do it at home. And then I remember I got the pull-up bar and I fell and I hit my coccyx and I messed up my back and I couldn't exercise for a long time. So I just focused on walking and stretching and then eventually built myself back up when I eventually could after a good few months and then when the gyms opened up in I think it's like April time I went back to the gym and then I was just doing movements like doing the weights at the gym but like on the machines and just trying to work around my back injury until I eventually started being able to weight train properly again. I decided to do my first ever bikini competition. So this was after maintaining for over uh, about a year. I decided I wanted to compete in my first ever bikini competition. So I started a weight training program with Pete where I went weight training. I did eventually go from the three days a week to four days. So I did upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. That was more when I was going back to the gym and just kind of doing it myself. Like just when I had my back injury, I wasn't like following a proper program I was just going in and doing what I wanted to do and then when I decided I wanted to compete Pete put me on a weight training program where I can't remember exactly what we did now but it was going five days a week so Monday to Friday and I'm pretty sure we started with upper lower body splits and then we eventually went to breaking up the muscle groups and doing that kind of workout like training program and then yeah so then I went on a slight little bulk put on a little bit of body fat to gain more muscle I started my prep my bikini prep in January 2021 like 2022 because that was 2021 2022 January 2022 I started my bikini prep and I went on a 12 week prep which prep if you don't know what that is is basically just a calorie deficit it's just a fancy bikini competition way of saying it. I don't know why it's called prep but it's because you're prepping for a competition right it's it's like a little bit more extreme is it's a lot more extreme than just dieting for yourself because you go to very low body fats that you don't really need to be getting to to be healthy like the way I was on show is not healthy that's not a healthy body fat and that's not anything that that's not a body fat or a look that people that want to be healthy should strive to achieve so I guess that's why because it's it's different it is different and it was a lot more stricter and I couldn't eat everything in moderation really I had to be I did for quite a few weeks and especially in the beginning of prep I could eat I was I could be a lot more flexible but as you get closer to the show you have to be, become a lot more strict and the calories get dropped quite low and, and you just want to you want like you don't want to mess it up you want to bring your best so you have to like be very very strict and it's very hard mentally but it was I enjoyed it I enjoyed prep and it gave me a lot of mental strength and it showed me that I'm capable of so much so I did learn so much throughout prep and I yeah so I went on a 12-week prep and I Competed in my first ever bikini competition in uh, April and I won the transformation category, which was amazing. Then I gained a little bit, well, gained, had to reverse diet and gained body fat back. I've just been in like a muscle building phase, as they say, off season. Do you know what I mean? Off season. Sound fancy, sound like I'm a popular bikini competitor. But I do have plans to compete again in November 2023. So this year, this year, November, I'm competing again. I have booked a consultation for my bikini guys oh I'm so excited I'm so excited to share that kind of journey with you but that's basically what I've been doing I have got a video on my channel showing what I looked like at various stages of my weight loss so how long it took to lose the body fat so I'll try and leave that link down below if I haven't left it linked can you please remind me because I always forget and then I also have another video basically showing how 
it, how long it took to build muscle. And I, in both of these videos, I show pictures every month or every week or all of these progress pictures I show just to give you a more realistic idea of what it looks like when you are losing weight and how long it can kind of take. And that's with me being very consistent and just carrying on, do you know what I mean? And not like really having any major setbacks so and a lot of questions I get asked as well before I finish this video is did I ever have a weight loss plateau which I guess I did a little bit so about seven months into my journey I noticed my weight loss very, slowed down a lot and I was only losing one pound every other week and I still had quite a lot of weight I wanted to lose so I decreased my calories a little bit and I moved more so I increased my steps and that just basically got me out of the plateau but it's not a plateau because it's not like I was stuck and I weren't losing weight but just when I noticed that my weight loss was slowing down I just kind of picked things up a little bit because when you are losing body fat so when you are quite like big say your your the amount of calories that your body burns is a lot more because you're just bigger you take more energy to keep alive basically and move so when you lose weight you're in a smaller body your body doesn't need as much calories so you will eventually have to decrease the amount of calories you're eating so yeah that's just kind of how you um break through a plateau you either move more burn a little bit more calories build muscle so that you're more metabolically active so you need a lot more energy or you just reduce the amount you're eating so yeah that was one question that i would i got i haven't had any weight loss surgery or weight loss help or anything like that or anything yeah i always get asked that as well and i haven't had any skin removal surgery i do have loose skin videos up on my channel i have two one comparing like basically straight after i lost the weight up so a year uh, just after a year of after losing the weight and then a year after maintaining and building muscle and i will be doing another loose skin video very very soon so let me know if you want to see that this is just all natural weight loss and body recomposition and that's how i lost weight i eat everything in moderation i don't follow any random diet plan i have days where I go out and eat takeaways sometimes. I have days where I eat a little bit more, but then I will follow that up by eating a little bit less over the next few days. Just kind of balance it out because it's calories in, calories out. That's how you lose weight is by, if you're in a calorie deficit, then you'll lose weight. If you're not in a calorie deficit, you're eating in a surplus, you'll gain weight. It's just what your body does with those extra calories, basically. So yeah, guys, that's how I lost 120 pounds and changed my body composition. And that's been my journey, basically. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful. I share everything here on youtube as i said so make sure that you are subscribed and you click the bell button join the family leave a like comment down below that arm emoji let's just ooh, get some guns mate <laughs> any, any excuse to flex that's, that's what that is anyway i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye